speed up your Laravel sale from this. For this with Swool. More tricks to make your daily dev work more productive. If you haven't set up your Laravel sale yet, click the link above. I will start with a fresh project for demo purposes. Verify the WSL status. Get into the Ubuntu WSL CD into user home directory, then create a code folder. Verify it with double backslash WSL dollar sign in Windows Explorer. CD into code folder and create the fresh Laravel sale project. CD into test project and execute sale up dash D. Refer to my previous video if you are a newcomer. The container is in green, and it is up and running. Let's install Laravel Octane. Then initialize the Octane. Enter 1, for swool. Enter, code dot, to open the VS code. Make sure it connected to WSL. By the time of this recording, Laravel Octane still not yet support HTTPS swool. We need to edit the vendor file temporary. Go to vendor, Laravel, Octane, then, create swool server.php. Observe line 10, make sure it is already updated as shown. My pull request is accepted, but you have to update to the latest Octane version. Meanwhile, you need to update this file manually. Next, edit config, octane.php. All code snippets can be obtained with the link in the description. We paste the config for HTTPS swool after the swool tables section. You can turn on or off HTTPS with this flag. The SSL cert and key will be generated later. Edit the .env file now adding octane underscore HTTPS flag to be true. This flag is just for the URL generation prefix. Next, we need to customize our Docker image. Publish the Docker config files. You can see the Docker compose file and Docker folder appear. Under the Docker 8.0 folder, edit the supervisor d.config. To keep swool up and running, we need to edit the command. Copy from gist, then paste it. From this command, you can see our swool server will be on port 8000. The watch option will keep reloading for your code changes. We need to install another node library to enable the file watching function. Now we need to do the port mapping in docker composer.yaml. At the port section, Add dash 8000 colon 8000. Then save it. Finally, open Docker file in the Docker 8.0 folder. Copy from gist, paste the code after the sale user creation on line 47. This will generate the required SSL cert and key for localhost. Everything is ready, now we need to shut down the container and rebuild. No container is up, we can rebuild now. It will take some time. Any download issue, you can run the same command again. Build complete, let's bring up the containers. On the dashboard, it is shown as green. You may remove the old image. Verify the Octane status. Open Chrome, enter https colon double slash localhost colon 8000. 
the warning appears due to the self-signed certificate. Click Advanced, then proceed to localhost. You should be able to see the Laravel welcome page. You may also take a look at the self-signed cert. You may notice a pop-up when you launch the VS Code. To let VS Code utilize the PHP executable inside our container, you need some tricks to expose the PHP. Click Open Settings, select the WSL tab, search for PHP. Click Edit in Settings.json. Paste the setting. This will not work. If you try to execute the PHP-V in WSL, it won't work as well, we always need to add sail before our command. We need the PHP in this container. So, we create the PHP executable here. Paste this code from GIST. This script will map the PHP from the Laravel app container. Save and exit. Then make it executable. Try PHP-V again. It should be working now. Back to VS Code, we need to change it to the full path. Save it, then no more error pop-up. Restart the VS Code to confirm no more error pop-up. Tired of a manual refresh for every change? Go to webpack.mix.js, paste these codes. Then, map the port 3000 at docker-composer.yaml. Rebuild is not required. Sail down. Then, sail up-d again. Execute the command to start watching. After the installation, it asks you to run the command again. Change the port from 8000 to 3000. You will see the browser sync connected. Try to make a change. Once the VS Code autosave, Chrome will reflect immediately. Due to the architectural differences, xDebug does not work on Swool. Here is the trick to make it work. Adding the arguments in the Docker Compose file. The first one checking the app debug variable in your .env file. The next is the listening port, followed by the default value. Then edit the Docker file in Docker 8.0 folder. Paste the code from gist. This section checks the debug flag then install xdebug and configure it. Now edit the supervisor d.config. We need to use the PHP built-in server for xdebug. Rename the octane instance. Copy from gist and paste another instance that serves port 80. We need to rebuild our container. Start the container again. Make sure PHP debug extension is installed. Press Ctrl, Shift, and D. Click Create a launch.json file. Select PHP. Replace it with my code from GIST. Write some sample code for the demo. Set the breakpoints. Start the debugger. 
Go to Chrome, open localhost. It won't hit the breakpoint now. We need to install this xdebug helper extension. Pin it for easy access. Click debug to start. Once you see the green bug icon, try to refresh the page. Now it hits the breakpoint. You can see the left side for variable content. Click continue for the next breakpoint. You can see the variable has changed. Click continue again, it will return the welcome view. You can click disable at any time. The swool is still serving on port 8000. Thanks for watching. Please press the like button and subscribe to my channel and click the bell to turn on the new video notification. See you all soon. Thank you.